Hey there, Kara from Karen Go Creative. We do websites in online business systems for women solopreneurs. And today I'm back with a very quick YouTube tutorial to show you how to edit this email. So if you enable a double opt-in, which is recommended, you're going to need to edit this email unless you just want to have it sent out like this. If you want to customize the language, customize the colors, I'm going to show you where to do that. So if you're looking at your MailChimp, you can enable it from here. The issue happens if you initiate that double opt-in from Squarespace. So you add your newsletter in Squarespace and you connect to MailChimp and you store it and you select this require double opt-in after subscribing. It's a great idea to do because this prevents sort of spam email addresses from landing on your email list. You don't want a bunch of spammers in there. So if you select this, this is what gets auto-generated, this email right here. And if you want to edit it, you'll come into your inbox and this is not the um, account that's connected to that MailChimp, but for demonstration purposes, I'll show you. You'll come to either manage audience, sign up forms, or sign up forms over here on the left. Either one will get you to the right place. And the thing that's not immediately um, apparent to people is that this form builder does not only the form, but also all the response emails. So we select that. And then here we want to edit that form. And so the problem is if you enable this through Squarespace, but you don't enable it in MailChimp, look it, I don't have a um, double opt-in confirmation email option to edit here. So in order to do that, you need to come to your settings, audience name and defaults, and then here enable double opt-in, Generally, don't do the captcha unless you know we're having some major spam issues. Save campaign defaults. And now, if you come back to sign up forms and select form builder, now you will have the option to edit that opt in confirmation email. And you'll see right here, it looks just like it did in the inbox. Here, you can customize the button not the buttons here. You can customize all of this information here. It's a good idea to make it sound a little bit more chatty. Um, and I don't believe we can actually, can we customize the button color? Sorry, I missed, oh, design it. Just the background and body forms. Buttons. Here we go. This is where we can change this button color. So you just got to hit design it and click around until you get the right option. But this is where you can actually change the button color. So hopefully this helps you customize this double opt-in email. Um, that way people are probably more likely to click it if it looks sort of like what they signed up for on the email, or sorry, on your website. And you can make this look just like your other branding. And so people are like, yes, definitely subscribe me to this list. Um, and that way you get everybody you want onto the list, but no spam bots. Um, hope you like this video. If it helps you out, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.